Iran. Coronavirus fatalities exceed 212,500. Over 212,500 people have died of the novel coronavirus in 480 cities checkered across all of Iran's 31 provinces. According to reports tallied by the Iranian opposition, People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran, as of Sunday afternoon local time. The official death toll declared by the regime stands at 58,469, around the third of the actual figure. We're concerned about our conditions in late February and March because once again the number of new COVID cases have increased and this is a very serious warning, said Minu Mohraz, a member of the National COVID-19 Task Force on Sunday, according to the Farce News Agency, an outlet linked to the Revolutionary Guards. Protests continue due to Iran's stock market crisis. Saturday morning marked another steep decline in Tehran's stock market, with the Tetpix index dropping by another 22,000 points to stand at 1.15 million, almost half of its 2 million point peak in August. The downturn has wiped out the investments of thousands of middle class Iranians, who invested in the stock market with the blessings and encouragement of regime president Hassan Rouhani and supreme leader Ali Khamenei. Meanwhile, large investors with links to the regime have made huge profits by manipulating the stock market with the help of top regime officials. The stock market downturn has caused public outrage across Iran, with many taking to the streets and protesting the government's manipulation of the market. On Thursday, small investors continued their protest rally in front of the general inspector's office despite the presence of security forces and plainclothes agents. Death to Rouhani, death to the deceptive government, the protesters were chanting. The protesters have been rallying for consecutive days, calling for the government to return their investments. <laughs>